Eric Oliver, and I've been passionate about energy conservation since my first job out of college in 1990. I had an undergraduate degree in architecture and a master's in engineering. I like to say that makes me bilingual. I worked for a small company in Boston called Energy Investment, along with another Hall of Famer, Marion Lauderdale, um, performing energy audits under lighting utility programs. We also had a consultant who was another Hall of Famer, Fred Goldner, uh, who's been a great friend and colleague for, for 25 years now. It was exciting that because of the inefficiencies of the grid, saving one kilowatt hour of electricity eliminates three kilowatt hours worth of fossil fuels being burned at the utility and therefore three times the elimination of greenhouse gas emissions. There are very few aspects of life where the impacts of an action are three times greater. Thank, yeah. There are very few actions in life where the impacts of an action are three times greater than the amount of effort put in. And being able, being able to have such an impact on the environment and also save organizations money, it was a true win-win and I decided right there and then to get a, dedicate my career to energy conservation. I moved to DC in 1994 to join EPA and help launch the Energy Star Buildings Program. If any of you have any of the original Energy Star Buildings manuals, I wrote about 80% of that and it was a, a great start, start to my career. I realized my dream of starting my own energy and sustainability company in 1998, that was EMO Energy Solutions, and one year later I joined AEE in the National Capital Chapter. I was immediately taken in by AEE between the camaraderie and the friendships and the amazing skill sets of everyone at AEE. I was elected NCC chapter president one year later and helped to grow that chapter for six years. So I want to take the first opportunity to thank my earliest mentors in AEE and growing my uh, business, fellow Hall of Famers Larry Good and George Owens. Really very inspiring to me. And I have to say that in, in in growing my business, there was no greater impact on my early success than my involvement in AEE. Um, being an early leader gave me significant credibility and exposure and contacts with some of the best people in the industry. I've made a lot of friends throughout the years at AEE and I still call them friends today. Climate scientists are telling us that we are at or near the tipping point of human-related climate impact, meaning that even if the human race gets aggressive right now, it's too late to prevent increasing major natural disasters. But we still need to start getting aggressive to prevent it from getting any worse. And as the major governments of the world are slipping on their responsibilities, as was so eloquently explained by that inspiring young Swedish girl, the solutions fall to us. The world is now relying on us to provide the answers and implement the changes to combat climate change. We have never been more important than we are right now. You all understand that, and you are living the motto of doing well by doing good, and you all should be proud of that. And one of the main reasons that we as an organization can have such a worldwide impact is because of the vision and inspiration over four decades ago of Al Tubin. He's someone with a higher energy level than anyone I've ever known. I used to tell people that the substance with the greatest amount of embodied energy per unit mass was Al Tubin. It's been very exciting to see us grow into a truly earthwide organization because we are truly facing an earthwide crisis and the world is relying on us to provide the solutions. So thank you for this great honor. It really is an accomplished club full of amazing people. I'd like to thank Buster Barksdale uh, for making this happen. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Fred Goldner and Steve Parker for their support. Uh, all of the wonderful AEE staff put in so much work into making all these things happen. I'd like to thank my wife Christine for her undying support. And uh, all of you, please continue to do well by doing good.